So today we're going to do a Vital Ice Peel, which is a medium grade peel. It is um, a 7.5, um, they call a proprietary blend. So first I'm gonna start out with a um, cleanser just to remove any surface debris, any oil. So Jen is um, wanting just tone tightening maybe to um, help some um, congestion in her pores. So what will happen is um, it's a self-neutralizing peel. So we'll, I'll put the peel on. She'll go home with it on. Um, it's still active for about 12 hours. And then normally I just tell people to wash their face the next day. Um, she'll have a couple days of tight, shiny skin and two or three days of significant peeling and then um, a few more days of um, just residual peeling. Peels can be done on um, any, just almost any body. Um, we uh, like to do them for tone tightening, um, line refinement, um, if you have uh, browns, that you're trying to eliminate. Um, if you're doing that, then you are probably going to have a series of peels about three weeks apart for either three to six peels. Acne um, prone people, very good um, way to control that acne also. So I'm gonna do two cleanses. So I want her squeaky clean. Also, if you're doing chemical peels, then we would suggest different products for you to use at home, depending upon your skin type. I usually send a aftercare kit home that has some um, ingredients to just keep your skin really um, hydrated um, during the process of peeling, but then um, other products that are going to be prone, better for your skin type. Because what you're doing at home is about 80% and what you do in the office is about 20%. Consistency of use, using sunscreen, that's going to be um, really anti-aging. So I'm just going to dry your skin off. Then this next product that I'm going to use, they call it a degreaser. What it is doing is it just takes all the oil off of her skin. So this peel is um, a what you would call a beta peel. So it not only just you're getting rid of the surface, it's going to penetrate into your skin. So it's going to help push debris out of your skin. So if you have clogged pores, it's going to help eliminate that. And so Jen has um, microbladed brows, so I'm going to kind of stay away from that area because doing peels over that area can lighten um, that. It exfoliates and can lighten it. And we don't want that. This pill takes about 30 minutes to do. And then again, you, you it's self-neutralizing. So you're wearing it home. It just looks a little shiny. It's not like it, you can really tell that you have it on, but you can't go work out because um, you'll get sweaty. Um, 
So you, you really kind of just need to go home and let it do its job. And some people heat up a lot, just depending on your skin type. And some people do not. Sometimes um, people don't peel excessively, but you still are getting the benefit. Anytime you remove some of that epidermis, it's going to um, cause a healing process. And then when you're healing, you produce collagen. So um, if you want tone and tightening, you have to produce collagen. And then also that collagen helps support these little light elastin fibers around like your pores that helps to shrink them back down. So this will stay on for four minutes and then I'll add another layer. And then during that time, I just kind of, are you, how hot are you, Jen? It's tingling right tingling. now, like more so around my cheekbones, my forehead. Kind of itchy, stingy kind of. Yeah. yeah. Not, not irritated, but yeah. just tingly. And it usually gets a little bit hotter with each application. So I'm just waiting my four minutes, and then we'll go to the next. I would usually suggest people doing peels like once a year, um, just do a series of peels. Um, you can still, you know, it, people that are doing maintenance like doing um, microderms or um, hydrofacials, um, we'll still just throw in a um, series of chemical peels sometime within that year. Um, it's just kind of like exercise and you're not always doing one exercise for like if you're doing bicep exercises. You wouldn't continue to do the same exercise all the time. You kind of want to switch it up every once in a while because it gives you a, a different benefit. Like this is going to be a lot more exfoliating on the surface than doing a microderm, but you wouldn't probably want to do um, only chemical peels for an entire year. So that's why I usually have people switch around on their um, treatments. So I'm gonna add another layer. Little hotter. A little hotter. You can definitely feel the sweating. Yeah. And so what's your level now on a scale of one to ten? I feel some heat. Yeah. Heat's kind of good. I mean, I wanted her to feel it, but I don't want it to be painful. And I can kind of see when she starts getting a little erythema in these areas, I know that it's doing what it should be doing. Yeah, so that's where I feel it. Yeah, mm -hmm. right around your cheek area. Yeah. yeah. Skid Medica also has, besides this vitalized peel, they also have a rejuvenizing peel that's a higher level peel. Um, it's a 12%, and I know 12% or even 7% doesn't sound like much but their, pro their peels are unbuffered. Um, so when you hear like um, Salon saying that they do a 40% peel, those peels are buffered to be above your normal pH. So our pH is 4.5 to 5.5. And if it's um, buffered, then it doesn't really penetrate into your skin. So this is at a 2.5 pH which obviously is a lot lower than your pH, so it penetrates much better into your skin. So you can have a lower percentage of the alpha hydroxy glycolics, retinols, and get a much better peeling effect. How's it feeling? Feels good. Just hot. It's not even really hot anymore. Yeah. It's just kind of tingling. It kind of just heats you up, and then it, the heat goes back down pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will go home and they'll have um, maybe an, you know 30 minutes or so where they still feel kind of hot and then that goes away. But you still have the peel on, it's still doing um, the, the work, so you don't want to get it wet, you don't want to exercise. 
um, because it's still active for 12 hours. Okay, this is the last layer of this. And then we do the retinol part. Her skin's pretty squeaky, so I'm expecting that she's gonna get a good peel. So that's gonna stay on for four, about four minutes. So if Jen was doing a series of peels, she would come back in about three weeks to do the second peel. That you're usually your healing process is a kind of a week, but um, you're still healing underneath the surface. So the collagen is kind of um, growing. So what you kind of want to do is you, you do another peel and that will boost that collagen even more. And, you know, for people that have acne, it's good to um, have them come in about three weeks apart. And that really helps to eliminate a lot of that surface acne. And again, like I said, it's a beta peel. So if they have a lot of debris underneath, it pushes that debris out. We also have other treatments that, you know, like I said, that we I wouldn't specifically just do one treatment on someone and do it forever. I would definitely mix it up and individualize it for each person. So you're just getting a little redder all over, which is what we want. Yeah, I can kind of and it's kind of already everywhere. tight. This is the retinol. And since it has that kind of yellowish color, most people kind of look a little bronzy after you put it on them. Which I guess is better than red. <laughs> but it definitely heats you up. <coughs> it's very strong. And it, does, it is kind of stinky. <laughs> So I'll put this layer on, put another layer on, and then really she's finished. I won't put any products on her afterwards. Um, she will just go home like this. And um, then um, depending upon the time of day, I usually tell people they can, they can wash their face that night with some of the aftercare kit that I send home with them. However, most of the time I just tell them, they don't need to wash their face till the next morning because obviously if you come in the afternoon, you would be washing your face at one o'clock in the morning. So I just usually tell them to go to bed with the with it on. If you feel like you want to use some of the um, products on your skin without washing it, you can do that. So I usually send home a cleanser, a um, some kind of um, oil, like a priming oil just for you to use. Um, to rehydrate because your skin's going to feel like this it's going to be so tight and when you start peeling you can use uh, you either I usually have people use coconut oil or the priming oil and massage their skin a little bit as they're um, peeling because it can get rid of some of that debris no picking no pooling um, no out in the sun um, obviously I wouldn't want you swimming in chlorine or swimming in um, the lake so you, you kind of need to have a plan that you're not going to be um, very active in any events for about a week with this peel. And this is how I want it to be. See how she's just squeaky as can be, so that means it's going to penetrate really good into your skin. So the, the, any of the little lines, this is the last layer I'm putting on, any of like her little lines that she has or the enlarged pores, um, it kind of gives you um, in a couple of days a saran wrap effect. So it looks like all the lines are deeper 
Um, any browns will probably be more pronounced. And you're like, why the heck did I come in and get a chemical peel? I look worse now. And then about a day later, it's like poof, and you start peeling. And you usually will peel like a snake for a couple of days. So in that time, that's when I will um, recommend for patients just to use some, like that coconut oil, massage some of the debris off of your skin, and then use a, a soft piece of gauze, wet gauze, and wipe it off, and then reapply some more uh, moisture to your skin. How's it feel, Jen? It feels good. It's not even really tingling at this point. It's tight. Yeah. <laughs> and really, that's it for chemical peels. This is a vitalized peel. Um, normally, that, that treatment will run $150. It is a... Um, a Skin Medica Allergan product. So on the peels, if you have the um, the loyalty program with that, you also get points for those, just like you do with your um, Skin Medica products.